I think the people that are involved in the Steve Smith Foundation, from its members to its board of directors, could see and always have seen the passion in Stephen and his need and want and desire to be on a bike and riding. And we all have seen that that passion needs to exist in a different form. And I think you're seeing that in the bike park and what we did to create a world-class facility for everybody to ride their bike at every skill level. We are finding ways to support riders and their development and helping them reach the world stage. One of Stevie's biggest goals was he wanted to see more Canadians reach the podium and our goal is to help achieve that dream. When it came to racing, he had blinders on so he could just block everything out and just get within himself and just be totally focused. He just got on his bike and would beat everyone. It was that simple. I'd call him almost like Will Ferrell on a bicycle. Loved to party and loved to see people smile. Had the hugest heart in the world. He had two dirt bikes, just so one guy who couldn't ride, didn't have a dirt bike, could ride a dirt bike. Oh, it was always 110%. Always first out of bed. Always first to be ready. Always first for everything. He, he did not leave a day behind. He just lived for it. He lived for riding bikes. He didn't care what it was, motorbikes, BMX, mountain bikes. He just loved to get out in the bush and go have fun and explore. Like, this island's unreal for that. You can do everything here, and it's all just right out your back door. My nephew, he got in the BMX, and Stevie sent me a text, and he said, you know what, I'll take him to the BMX track. And I thought to myself, how many kids in this world that would love to get on a bike? and ride with Stevie Smith and he, without hesitation, was like, I can do that, I know it'll make the kids day. And just that's the kind of guy Stevie was, just down to earth, giving. Oh, he would be so stoked over this, it's unbelievable. I know he was actually had a realtor pursuing property and he said, I don't care what the house looks like on it, I just want property so I can build a park for kids. This was such a team effort between the foundation, the gyro, the whole city. Everywhere I went, not one person said no. And that was a lot of money that built this place and the proof is in the pudding right here. Every day I've been up here three, four times a day and there's no less than 100 kids using this park. Steve would absolutely love it. It's definitely world class and it definitely is gonna be a part of creating a skill base in riders that we will not have seen before. Kids that have raced BMX or raced mountain bikes have normally had a short practice window. Now with these paved pump tracks, they're gonna be able to practice pretty much every day of the year, which is gonna change the way cycling skill development happens here in Nanaimo. Unreal, you show up here at seven in the morning, there's kids riding, you come back here at 11 o'clock at night and there's still kids riding, pretty good. And your Facebook lights up every time you go on there with people that you don't even know posting videos of their kids or them, it's pretty cool. Just right now, there's a few people riding today and there's two guys doing these big jumps and one of them's got a BMX and one of them's got a mountain bike and that never happened. Scooters, BMX, mountain bikes, skateboards and wheelchairs on that pump track. It's perfect. Can't ask for anything else. We're never this privileged, I guess. We spent a lot of time digging. It's awesome for them. It's going to create some really good riders out of this town. Kids are going to get really good really fast and it's going to be pretty exciting to see. Apparently this is a slow night. So it's kind of cool to see this many kids on a slow night. Oh, he'd be totally impressed. He used to build all kinds of stuff. So to see this, everything a biker would want to see, you know, for dirt jumps and that, everything here all in one park, and how you can flow from the dirt jumps right onto the bump track. I'd be one of those moms sitting here from dawn till dusk, because <laughs> he wouldn't want to leave. Everybody came on board without a hesitation. They wanted to be a part of something wonderful. They wanted to give everybody else the experience that Steve had when he got his first bike. And we were trying to emulate that again. What did it feel like for him when he got that bike after trading those pies? These kids got a bike that day and hopefully we filled their lives and given them a new freedom. There was one little guy who saw his name on the pedal. He grabbed that bike and I went to pass it off to the guy next to me. That little guy was not letting go of that bike. I mean, that's what this is all about. You have to give them the ones that haven't had a chance. You try to give them that chance and let them run with it. He achieved his dreams. You know, he talked to being on the podium with Sam Hill and Steve Pete and one day being number one in the world. And I think we both knew it would happen. To see a kid from small town Nanaimo make it as far as he did 
racing bikes, it kind of gives kids here that are just learning and trying to jump a double, it gives them hope that maybe one day they could be Stevie. He made it, he succeeded, he did everything I wanted to do and everything every kid strives to do, that's for sure. There's him, Darren Bearclaw, Jordy Lund, tons of these bike guys, the kids all look up to him. It gives them something to aspire to. And they look and we tell all the kids, like if Stevie could do it, he started out selling apple pies to get his first bike to come race BMX. So Stevie could do it, anyone can do it, you just gotta have the drive.